So next we're going to look at the problem of converting between rectangular and polar coordinates. Right? Um, now, a problem like this, first time you see something like this, plotting it, you may think, like, this was kind of tricky. Maybe I, maybe I would have been better off in rectangular coordinates. Well, let's think about that. So if you had r equal to cos 2 theta, um, which is, by the way, remember that this is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. I mean, there are some other identities you can use there, but that's, that's one option, right? Um, so, OK, so we have that. So r is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Now, what we might do here is maybe we multiply both sides by r squared. And the reason for that is now I have r cos squared, r squared cos squared, which is x squared, r squared sine squared, right? Um, but I mean, I don't know, are you any better off? This is now x squared plus y squared to the 3 over 2 is equal to x squared minus y squared. Um, I guess you could square both sides, x squared minus y squared cubed, or x squared plus y squared cubed is equal to x squared minus y squared squared. Is that any better? I don't think I want to deal with that, right? That's a, that's a pretty ugly looking implicitly uh, defined curve that I don't think I want to try to solve. So sometimes, sometimes polar is easier to deal with, right? It's easier to see what's going on in polar coordinates, right? On the other hand, sometimes rectangular is better, but we'd like to be able to jump back and forth. Um, so typically, if you need to jump back and forth, well, going from rectangular to polar is easy. We just plug in that y is equal to r sine theta, x is r cos theta. Uh, we usually try to solve for r as a function of theta. So we have, well, I guess r equals 0, or um, cancel r from both sides, divide by cos squared theta, r is equal to sine theta over uh, cos squared theta, which we might write as secant theta times tan theta. Okay? So we can do something like that. Um, and actually, and this is sort of a common theme with these, you can discard the r equals 0 solution because it's included here, right? When theta is equal to 0, r is 0. So we don't have to worry, OK? If we do something like this, what do we get? We get um, r squared sine theta cos theta is equal to 1. Um, I don't know. There's not really much you can do with that. We could divide by sine theta cos theta, get r squared. It's not, a, it's not a great equation to work with, right? Um, this, one's a, this one's a hyperbola. It's not, uh, it's not a really a curve you want to deal with in polar coordinates anyway. Okay. But at least you can make that change if you need to. Now, uh, going from polar to rectangular sometimes requires a little bit more inspiration, right? Um, so we can think about, well, what do you do here? Maybe the first thing you might try is just um, multiply, you know, cross multiply. Why not? What do we get? We get r sine theta minus r cos theta is equal to 2. Oh, actually, that's not so bad, right? Because this is now just y minus x is equal to 2. So y is equal to uh, 2 plus x. That's just a line. Okay. Well, that's not so bad, right? Um, typically, you're trying to get r sine theta and r cos theta to show up because that will give you, you know, y and x, right? Or r squared because r squared will give you x squared plus y squared. Um, this one's a little bit trickier. Um, but it's actually a pretty common thing. These, these curves show up quite a bit. It's actually a circle. Believe it or not, it's a circle. Um, you can try kind of plotting points. You can go through this kind of whole thing and you can see what you get. Uh, and you'll find that you would start kind of, you know, you'll, you'll find it's a circle. But we can actually explicitly see that it's a circle. And the trick that you do is you, you multiply both sides by r. Why do I multiply both sides by r? Because on the right, that gives me r times cos theta, and I can recognize that as x. On the left, r squared is x squared plus y squared. So I get that, OK? Um, and the way I see this as a circle is I can bring the 2x over to the other side, complete the square by adding 1, 
and I see that I get x minus 1 squared plus y squared is equal to 1, right? So it's, it's a circle of radius 1 that's been shifted one unit to the right, so it sits right there, okay?